Welcome back to GDPG, the show where we play games, talk game design, and we are playing Overland. I was trying to come up with something clever like, we GDPGP Overland. You know, this has been happening to me a lot on the show recently, where I'm just like, eh, I'm not being witty right now. No. Well. I mean, half the reason I'm funny, though, is because <laughs> I'm not witty. Like, I'm clearly bad at what I do. You know, that's... That's actually kind of fair. It's definitely true to yeah. an extent. And you just got to be humble oh. about how awesome you are, which this I am. This is new. What is that? At least maybe. Is that a mine? No. So, okay, this is a dead body oh. right oh, here. Oh, there it is. Um, oh, it has health? Oh, is no, it like... That's, that's her health, but it's blocking. I didn't think the dead bodies would block in this. Maybe it's only because he's one of the big guys, <laughs> um, but that's kind of a big deal. In fact, wow, the other characters... Were they, did the other characters block each other in the last build that we played? I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure you could walk through your own people, but not through the enemy. Well, I think we had that discussion, too. Yeah. Either that or we're crazy, but... Hmm. I think that... Yeah. Huh. So you gotta move the dog first. Moving dogs. Or I could just have her go in the car. I'm gonna do that. Get in the car. <laughs> And the dog can go, I guess, over here. So we're picking up where we left off last time. I don't know if we really said much as far as that, but... We're talking about how unique the uh, this is the, the challenge for the first area and how they made it more difficult, um, which is good. Yes. Yeah, it's really good, especially because it was a little easy before. I guess the on the flip side, it could be uh, dangerous since it is the... Oh, I could ram this. What? Oh, that's awesome. So in a pinch, if it's like, oh, God, everyone's dead. I need to get out of here, and I can't push this out of the way. You're like, I will sacrifice my vehicle's health for this. Although, of course, if your vehicle's already damaged and you do that, I bet you it, like, just, just breaks your breaks car. Just breaks it like, right there. Well. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. I'm glad that they added the risk. So one thing that interests me about challenge, the challenge area is, whoa. I did not think expect all that. that to happen. Okay. So um, they, uh, what's cool about it is that they, the, this challenge area is actually forcing the player to utilize some of the mechanics. It's actually teaching them about parts of the game. So the the fact that you have to, it's just so gruesome when something dies. Um, the fact that you have to interact with the level itself and the things around you, uh, it, it forces the player to to start to understand those mechanics, mm -hmm. which is good, um, because. Teaching from doing is, I mean, that's really how how a game should work. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just kill everything in your path. Just just endless waves. Just kill them all. Well, I'm not going to, I couldn't, I see, that was the mistake I made with this other guy is I moved the Poochie all the way over. should call him Mary, because, or her Marie. 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 It's Marie. Marie. So, um, <laughs> Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Marie. Had a Tony moment there. I was, was like, going to say, that was Marie. such a genuine... Oh, no, the gas canister's over there. Dumb. Wait, I can do you this. You have a gas canister right there, I too, and this. up there. She can She can just get out, turn off the car, and then... You'll cry. be fine. You'll be fine. Isn't there a creature right there next to her? Oh, wait, you he, can't move he an can't attack, He can't move though. diagonally, so... Unless things have changed. We should be, <laughs> should be in the clear. Um, what was I going to say? The, uh... Ooh... So have you ever just tried to fight off wave after wave of enemy before? No. Um, I, just because the Hydra effect does not make it seem like that will ever pay off? Could be wrong, but especially if the bodies block the way. I think that's really the important takeaway, too, is that um, ooh, you can screw yourself over with that, too. Because you can't, you can't interact with these dead bodies. Maybe you could burn them, but if you don't have a torch, then what are you going to do? I mean, do? you could also use that to cut your enemies. Because, right, if you had kept the car where it was, right, and mm -hmm. just killed every enemy that came next to you, eventually would, they would keep responding. Wall. Yeah, but they wouldn't be able to get to you. And you'd be like, all right, cool. Yeah, I almost wonder. <laughs> that makes me tempted to, like, try to break the game in, the, in that, like, what if I just keep killing things and, and just... fill up the entire map? Will, will the game just, like, blow up? I don't know. Will like, blow up? Or will it start a new side quest that maybe. leads to new adventures? <laughs> and then instead of just be like going overland for survival you become the whatever these things are called killer what are they called do they have a name 
Uh, Do we have a name for them? I honestly don't know. I don't think so. They scuttle around. Kind of like kind of like a uh, Walking Dead, except for calling them walkers. You call them scut scuttle scuttlers. scuttlers. That's that's a stupid name. Don't. What, what were they called in? Um... Hashtag scuttlers at the top there, Chris. Thank you. What were they called in? Uh... Wow, what was that movie? The one with the Earth? Tremors. Tremors. Yeah. What were they called in Tremors? Thank you. Um... I don't remember. So many like... comments on that. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> I feel like that would be an appropriate. Ooh, these guys are getting close. I should uh, do something about that, probably. I'm Actually, Chris, I'm just going to make a little note here, and you're going to put what they're called at the top of the screen when you edit this. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> That's what friends are for. All right, I'm going to pull you, and... You need one more. He's not out yet, though he might be able to just come out and attack. So. We're going to risk it. We're gonna try it. So they only, they have cars with different um, perks as well, right? You said. Yes. Do they have any that can just drive off road? Uh, not that I've seen. Although I feel like that would be overpowered. It's definitely. It's just really, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'll just drive past everything. Yeah. Exactly. So that would be a genuine concern. Unless it like used gas or something like there was a cost to it. Uh, okay, Poochie, pick up this gas. I think we're going to leave this med kit behind, honestly. Well, uh, you probably won't need it until what? Like, I didn't really see any real danger to you last time you played until, like, the third area. Yeah, actually, I can play it safe. Here, watch this. Check this shit out. So you will not go inside yet. Here, I'll pull you in. Although that might have been counterproductive. Now we'll have Poochie pick up this gas. Damn it, Poochie cannot combine gas canisters. <laughs> Curse your lack of opposable thumbs. <laughs> uh, that was clever, though. Damn, good on them for, like, seeing that, that like... I guess it's not really an edge case, but, like, they're consistent with they're, their they, lack they, of yeah, human ability. Yeah, I was going to say, they really drug. have thought it through. I, I mean, to test playing, that would have been a blast, though. Oh, absolutely. You're like, all right, let's uh, let's see what we can make the dog do. I mean, I bet you originally that uh, that it, it things like that would work, right? And then you know the playtesters or whoever they were probably saw that and was like, so this doesn't really make sense. Uh, Lassie here can just kind of do whatever she wants. So real quick, let's talk about the main character um, because it always en changes, en right? Enid. 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 Maybe. Sure, we'll go with Enid. It's going to go open a bar uh, with her friend, trying to find her kid. Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> that is really sad. Uh, so, with the main character, they have no abilities. And we kind of mm -hmm. talked about this a little while back. But they, since they have no abilities, do you think that they're going to add a mechanic into the game uh, down the line where you can like pick a type of character that has a special ability? Or do you think... like? Do you feel like that would break things if the main character themselves had some type of ability? Because, like, if you had a main character that was energetic, you could get so much more done. I, I'm honestly a little surprised that the main character doesn't have their own abilities, um, to be totally honest, because to me, that's just part of what you could just naturally randomly generate. Mm. Um, now, I'm it's sure It's a they, conscious choice, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure they did it to make the player be like, you, you need these other people because mm -hmm. they can do things you cannot. Um, so in a survival situation, it, it helps justify having other people work with you other than the fact that having more hands in general is just really important in this game. So, okay, before before I do this, because... This is going to be the end of the episode, so... Okay, so gonna we're just going to drive through this area. And I know that uh, last time some of you guys were like, you guys just kind of skip through everything. This is, this is I think how the game wants to be played. We have we've stockpiled gas. We could potentially explore some of these other areas for better cars, um, but honestly, gas is kind of the name of the game. And while we have it, it's actually for it, for sake of survival, it would only make sense to kind of drive through to the end. Um, so so I'm not doing it to like skip ahead. We're not trying to rush through this. I just this is like the way I envision the play style is sort of intended. And so that's why having multiple areas is, is really important for this game so that. So do you think 
there's a problem with that because there's really only one god resource, right? There's just gas. Mm-hmm. If you but if you had ever played Flame in the Flood, and I think I compared it before, mm-hmm. uh, if you'd ever played Flame in the Flood, you need to make constant pit stops. And yeah, they can be dangerous, but those dangers are usually worth the the reward that you get out of them. In fact, you can turn those dangers into rewards by you know killing the creature or whatever. But in that, you need to make those constant trips because you're trying to accomplish something. You're mm-hmm. trying to build things as you go along. This game doesn't have that. Yeah. So it, what do you... Do you think that's all... Like, there needs to be more? I mean, it's so a huge part of that is because everything's consumable, right? Pretty much anything you pick up that isn't a car or a person, you're going to consume. And since those are so essential, like, gas is so essential, and, um, like, even some of the equipment, right? Like, the um, that pallet that I was using as a shield... I want to use that as little as possible so that I have it when I need it. And so really the only reason I imagine you would want to stop is to gather supplies for the next time you're in a pinch. Um, So I guess really like there's two ways you could do it, right? You can have situations in which you're required to have something in order to pass. Um, In this game, I think that would be a huge risk though, because there's no ability to drive backward. Um, and I don't think that the developers want that to be sort of the mindset. No, well, it's not the point. I mean, the point of the story is you're going, you know, you're, you're, going, you're going westward. Forward. So yeah, you have exactly. to go that direction. That makes sense. Um, so I think there needs to be more things that kind of benefit you the longer you have it. So like characters are a great example. Um, the longer you have a character, the more abilities it unlocks of theirs. And so it the players rewarded for having them. So the really the only way, reason you would want to spend more time early on um, in some of these areas, even if you already have gas, is so that you can just have more days pass mm-hmm. so you can unlock those abilities so that when you're in the harder levels, they have, you know, more capabilities. Now, I don't think that's enough to justify it because the player's naturally going to want to just skip ahead because gas is more important than character abilities. That's fair. So maybe if gas isn't as important then there would be more reason to linger. However, if gas isn't as important, it makes the game too easy. Fine balance. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a really tough I, situation. I to be feel in. like in most cases, then the way to make this all work out would usually be to add at least one more resource to the game. So, for hmm. instance, if you also had to worry about food, and Ooh, something something that kind of matters more in not necessarily in the meta, but like in the over lo- like total playthrough so gas is like a temporary thing but you also want to accrue hmm. so many blanks over the course of your trip i can see it it could even be like maybe this isn't the best example but like say a merchant right like maybe cigarettes are like the currency because that's what happens in a lot of post-apocalyptic games maybe like at the beginning of each map you have the chance of encountering a merchant so you want to stockpile on stuff that you can get from him like yep. maybe a gun and that's something that's not as quickly consumed as some of the other like offensive items. So Things... you're trying to get mm-hmm. those advantages. So when you get to the end of the game, you're prepared. Especially if the player knows that the monsters at the end of the game are particularly difficult. That actually reminds me of um, FTL, uh, Faster Than Light. Mm. You're constantly you're trying to pick up scraps so you can go to the shops because... When you play FTL, like, yeah, the the journey is why you play the game. You want to experience those things. But the end of the game is so incredibly difficult that you know pretty much whether you're going to be able to succeed or not halfway through the game. That's Because that's it's all about accumulating <laughs> the things you need so you can finally win. So then maybe FTL is a really good reference point for how to successfully pull that off in this style yeah. of design. Because yeah. FDL, I, I very much would feel the same way where I'm like, I just need to rush through because I might just die at any point. Yeah. But then I but suffer the consequences. But if you do that, you suffer the consequences. <laughs> There's no way, no way you're going to be able to uh, finish it. So. Right. Uh, anyway, we talked enough about that and uh, ran a little long. So, so question I, of the day. I, I think that's appropriate for the question of the day, though, is, is how would you kind of redesign some of the content or add to the content to help make um, gas not God resource? Yep. Um, I, I think is kind of the best way to put it. Like, what would you do to change the game? In that regard. Cool. Well, cool. be sure what you want it to vote on what you want to see when we're done with Overland, whether it's more Overland or something else. Yeah. Vote. Watch us. Like us. Um, be our friends. <laughs> call oh, us. Call me. I'm lonely. <laughs> Don't do that. Bye, everybody. What? <laughs>
play. Why'd you have to make this weird? 